Hello people, this is Yevon. So recently I thought that there is no Clash Royale leveling videos, actual leveling videos in uh, on the net, so I thought why not start some. So I'm using Bluestacks Android emulator and I will create a new account. This was my previous account, I want to create a new one. So this is the tutorial, we have to destroy enemy towers by using our own cards. Basic tutorial using only basic cards. Your enemy starts deploying troops, but this doesn't really matter, and we win very easily. And we received five with gold and a wooden chest. So let's unlock this. We have to wait 15 seconds. I will not use gems to unlock chests because this is pretty much a waste of them. Twelve gold, one knight card and one arrows card. So now we receive a tutorial on upgrading cards. For upgrading we receive bonuses to cards stats and uh, some exp experience. Uh, I will also upgrade arrows because I need experience to reach level 8, I will explain that later. And we enter the next battle. By the way, I want to check my key mapping. I will delete this configuration and I will make own. Oh, I will do that later, okay. Well, Tactics. Fast yeah. is what we have to do. So, well, we're revenge pitch. Why not? I will uh, change my key mapping later. So, while we are waiting, we have shop that will have some cards, we have our cards and battle deck menu, we will get clan, that's like a guild in MMORPG, and tournaments and challenges, like an arena in Hearthstone. So, what have we got now? 12 gold, arrows, and musketeer. For a start, Musketeer is pretty good. Here she is.
So, giant is our pusher, attacks only towers, only buildings I mean, bomber destroys enemies in small area, wait, enemy using three skeleton rushes in a row, that's strange, but, well, okay, so we'll send the knight help. Let's edit our keys. I don't think that this is really important. It's really important for us to do what we have very fast. So here, here, ah, here. X, here Z, here C, and here V. Okay, this is all I will need. And now I can attack. So, Musketeer is ranged. Damage dealer, she deals pretty high damage. C100, that is really high when you're fighting high health enemies, but she's pretty much useless against uh, crowds of weak enemies. We also have Knight, he's pretty much healthy with pretty high damage. Archers, they're very weak, but if they can survive, they deal pretty high damage. Arrows and fireball deal area damage. And for now, this is all we have. So, some more gold, another bomber, and another knight. Upgrade our bomber. At the start, to while you are not in a clan, upgrading is everything. Because with upgrading you increase your level, and increasing your level increases health of your towers. I would gladly say good luck to trainer Klaus, but I don't have a chat button right now. Oh, I'll put this here, this here. As you can see, her dam musketeer's damage is very high and her range is pretty much high, so even fastest units, when in small crowds, they can't reach her. Why did I put bombers so early? Whatever. Right now we actually can simply attack the King Tower because AI is very weak in training games, but just for fun why not do a split push tactics. For those who don't know, split push is when... Oh, here we get our first epic card. Split push is when you're pushing in differ in different directions simultaneously so the enemy has to split his army and uh, attention to two different places some gold bomber and baby dragon well baby dragon is pretty good because He has high hit points and he deals very heavy area damage, but his, his attack is pretty slow. But for starters this is pretty much alright. So as you can see I pressed X and my second card was selected. 
this is why BlueStacks emulator is very useful because instead of coming here and there I can simply press prepare my mouse where I want and then uh, simply press select and uh, hit I actually didn't have to do this but well, he is adorable If you are playing this game, uh, the tips you see on the loading screen are usually very useful about split pushing and uh, differences between some cards and so on. Nothing useful right now. So let's make an actual split push because last AIs tend to be somewhat smarter. As you can see they easily killed my uh, musketeer. Against melee fighters we can use air units because they are well protected by the air, I suppose. So let's wait for this tower to die and we will make a full on assault. projectiles usually so if they die projectile will fly and deal damage anyway this I just have a few accounts for different purposes so we now can level up musketeer if you noticed leveling up to level 2 common cards costs 5 and musketeer as a rare card costs 50 for first level up. This is pretty important when managing leveling cards you don't use right now because before you join a clan you the only way to level up your crown towers is pre is actually only through leveling your cards. damage. 
actual players don't uh, die so easily, especially on later arenas, so we have our first silver chest. Yeah, I remember. So, we entered the first arena. Uh, in chess you can receive any cards from arenas from different arenas uh, you get card cards are limited by arena you are in right now and all previous so from so from now on i can receive any of these cards and of these but not of later ones so let's Start unlocking this one, check what's in our free chest, we can get a free chest every 4 hours, but I'll get it, those not so often. Aha, we have uh, goblins. I think I'll put goblins instead of fireball. Because I don't actually use fireballs. So what we have in use? Ah, episode. This is the podcast of developers. I don't have any questions right now, so I want to play some games for uh, Crown Chest. Crown chest is uh, something like a super free chest. You get it. B uh, you can get one chest in 24 hours by destroying enemy towers. This was pretty much unexpected because I actually haven't seen much people getting. Skeleton army on the first arena. This is an epic card, and as you can see, ow. remember not to leave your elixir bar full. Don't leave your elixir bar full because it won't do you any good. So now I will put here a baby dragon. For some reason baby dragons are more... You can see baby dragons more on first arena. Goblins are very fast and very strong melee fighters. But, uh, well, strong in comparison to other uh, crowd fighters because others are usually killed in one hit and these are in two and later in three left the battle, well, thank you, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but whatever, and we won. And we get another silver chest. So you see, we got three crowns, and we need to collect ten crowns to open one crown chest. And we get our first 30 trophies. Let's wish Lucas good luck. And start attacking with... Oh, common mistake. Hitting the King Tower first. This is very dangerous because it awakens him too early and he can deal damage to enemies in this area, in the base crown area and 
It can ruin enemies' game pretty much. It can ruin your game pretty much. Usually, normal tactics is to destroy one tower and then uh, King Tower will awaken and uh, start hitting you. As you can see, giant hits pretty hard. Well, not hard enough, but whatever. And two archers in two shots each took about 20% of dragon's health. So they are very powerful if you use them against right enemies. So let's hit the King Tower. tactics hitting enemies army with a tower because it simultaneously can destroy enemies army and deal some damage to a tower but remember that spells deal less damage to a tower about 60% less if I remember it right So whiny. <coughs> Excuse me. So so far, this has been pretty easy. When I played first, it felt pretty much the same to me. This is bad. Prince uh, is an epic card, I think, but he deals very high damage and you need to destroy him very quickly. This cross doesn't go on fire. damage that 
I don't have any protection from him right now and if he will shoot another fireball I will die and he does that well our first loss but on Arena 1, for losses, we lose not that much trophies. We don't lose that much trophies as on later arenas, where we will lose a full trophy count. By that I mean 30... Or 30 plus or minus a few trophies and that is quite irritating at some points let's push him with a giant right now I don't have very much to comment because I don't actually have that much cards to analyze something. Let's begin with archers. Actually, I really like ranged units, but they tend to be very weak. Two bombers killing each other. That's good for me and bad for them, but I don't really care because all I want is to win. In this situation I believe I should go for a 2 crown win instead of a 3 crown because he can protect himself very pretty well. golden chest. Golden chest is a better version of a silver chest. There is also giant magical and super magical chest. We can get those too, but they're ultra rare and uh, there is this detail that uh, all chests come on rotation. Uh, silver and golden on uh, one rotation and others on another rotation and if for example there should be a golden and a magical chest a magical chest will appear but golden will not appear next time it will be silver if silver it must be next also in shop we can buy cards mm. Each next card of same kind will cost more, but if you want to unlock a card right now, because you think you need it, 
you can do it from here. And on Sundays you get six cars in fr instead of three. We can buy gems and gold, but I will not do that, I believe. And at level three we will get to some clan. Also, we have only four chest slots, so if we have four chests in these slots, we cannot receive them from battle, but if we win, we will still receive gold. Nah, whiners. <laughs> I actually don't really like uh, people who use these modes that are that involve a king, but because just for me aesthetically they look horrible. He didn't destroy our tower, but. It's actually in a very bad situation right now. This is what I hate about uh, heavy hitters that have a slow attack. They are easily distracted and right now I actually don't have any mass units to kill Prince and I believe here I will lose In my first leveling I actually got a knight, a prince, and in second leveling I got a skeleton army plus a witch, which gave me a pretty big boost in the start. I will do this later with this account and I believe one more battle and we should get our first crown chest. So let's start with archers and then push with baby dragon and uh, giant here. Oh shit. Seems to me that he has the same army as I do. a constant problem in this game to be able to destroy enemy's army without where he, where your enemies 
where your enemy has a heavy hitting army and you have a very slow accounted one simply because you got worse cards. I think I will try to at least get this one crown. I believe I won't get even that. So it seems to me that this leveling will take very long time for me in the first arena, but well, whatever. I will rate it later. Whatever. Archers plus a musketeer and a knight to distract him. And he's got a Valkyrie. She is pretty much like a knight, but she hits in an arrow and slightly and has a slightly lower damage. is good against um, mass units, but uh, it's very hard to use her against single units. Actually, this one does a nice job. He pushes one lane to destroy this tower but today he's out this time he's out of luck because I got a better starting hand or he has a worse deck and we win We get our first crown chest. Crown chest has lots of gold and lots of cards, and sometimes it has gems. Oh, spear goblins, that's good. Usual goblins, okay. Arrows, lots of arrows. And a giant, well, nothing new except for spear goblins, and I will put them instead of uh, the knight because they hit from a distance so they'll hit earlier and let's level up our cards 5 5 20 so I prefer to level lower those with lower cost in the beginning oh and we got to level 2 so our towers get more health and somewhat more damage <coughs> excuse me arrows get more area damage and tower damage and giant gets more damage and health oh and we can upgrade arrows one more time upgrade baby one more time so for now I think this is it thank you all for watching Rate, comment, subscribe, uh, ask questions, I think I... Yevon, out.